one of the interesting um, uh, realities of the 60 uh, some odd page uh, opinion uh, uh, around legitimate use, legitimate purpose, was a very positive, I thought, discussion of the fact that there are times where uh, benefits or legitimate interest of a, uh, of, a, of a business or a controller can be considered quite significant, perhaps, uh, even though you don't have some of the other uh, bases uh, for, uh, for processing, presumably, consent or, or other issues. Um, should I not get too excited, uh, Yaakov, that this is some uh, increased um, appreciation from data regulators for a uh, benefit and risk approach? And with sort of that backdrop, um, uh, how does uh, that opinion or, or sort of your concerns about um, uh, this effort to shift focus uh, clashes with some of the basic uh, concerns? Or, or is it compatible? And, and uh, are we simply talking about messaging? Are we simply um, um, uh, to look to sort of Peter's comment that uh, we're not changing anything here. We're saying we all jump up and down about a couple of the phrases and say this is you know, the primary basis, let's breathe more life into principles that are there but seem to have been getting uh, short shrift. Uh, does, has the Article 29 given us some uh, positive look that supports the, the model that we've heard about today? What, what are your thoughts? Well, uh, difficult after, after so many uh, <laughs> thoughts that passed to... to, to uh, so may I, may I just jump to... Um, uh, the, the, the fear that I have, having a look at the work that has been done and, and still is being done by uh, Boyana and, 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 and uh, Richard, um, is the fear that I got when I visited Silicon Valley. Um, okay, I was there with Peter Hastings and, and people looked at me as as their grand grandfather, because they were all. <laughs> uh, um, but the end, very short, they said, it's interesting what you're saying, but our business model is against it. Now, if that's the key point in what these gentlemen are doing, then I'm against it. Because the principle-based approach of privacy and I'm not going to go through these principles right now. Uh, uh, would be too time consuming, and I'm not sure whether I would be complete. Uh, I need some 34,000 Shakespeare words in, <laughs> in, in order to go over it. But the, 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 the principle-based uh, approach of the European uh, uh, regulation anyway, a directive, is one that is very forceful and, and stood the test of time pretty well, I would think. There's a couple of things that we must change, absolutely, but not get rid of these principles. Now, there's one misunderstanding reading the, 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 the several uh, um, uh, pieces of paper that, that were much shorter than our legitimate interest opinion, by the way, uh, but come close to it, uh, um, is that the, um, uh, that, that the, the, the uh, notice and choice uh, model, in fact, is a very US-based model. Um, I'm not talking too much about uh, fundamental rights and stuff like that, but we have, you need a legal ground and co to, to, to work with data anyway. And, and the, the, the consent is only one of them. And not even the most important one. Long legal notices will most likely not even lead to valid consent as far as the European uh, 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 um, legislation is concerned. So I'm fully with um, all of you saying that we have to shift responsibility because who the hell as normal citizen would understand what he's saying yes to? I mean, this technology behind all this is too complicated to, to grasp and, and so that accountability comes in, uh, risk assessment comes in, um, is, is, a, is a very good, um, uh, uh, is, is excellent. And, and as Working Party, 
uh, starting the discussion on the, on, the, on the new regulation, we embraced the risk-based approach, not only because in the directive there's four or five articles that already hint towards that risk-based approach. So it's not, it's not completely new. Um, so I, I could uh, say more about it, but, but the, 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 let, me, let me end up with two r remarks. The first is, yes, our legitimate interest opinion um, uh, is not very short and, and maybe not too easy to read. Uh, my advice to uh, Boyana on Monday was just read the last six, seven yeah. pages and, and you got the essence. And, and I think uh, all of you should read it because legitimate interest until now hasn't been used that much because it's a balancing test where you need to balance the interest of the company towards the fundamental right of the citizens. And a balancing test generally isn't a one-size-fits-all fits all decision. A balancing test requires everyone to think a little bit. And generally, in life, people are very much <laughs> against that. So that's why I think that legitimate interest isn't used very much. And it, it, it might be very helpful in the discussion to take on board that part, because it is really what we think is the best way of thinking right now. There's six legal grounds, one of them being legitimate interest, and have a look at it, because then probably things like risk, um, even um, uh, somewhat more looking at the use and, and, and maybe less at, at the collection as such, although I'm very much um, doubtful. Um, if, if we go that way, it might be a slippery slope that in the end we're only looking at use and not looking at collection anymore. Collection, once it is collected, and there's always a guy or a woman who will think we can use it for a complete other uh, 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 direction. And so collection is still, if it's going to be a fundamental right, collection is also a false honor. And finally, I'll come back to my first remark. If it is, if this all thinking is because the middle, the business model doesn't fit into the regulation or into the principles of data protection, then, then I'll, I'll, I'll stay very skeptical about the outcome.